Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Cool, a letter. Oh, it's news from my friend Yuki the monkey. She's inviting me for a swim with her. Oh, it'll be great, I can't wait. Monkeys live all over the world, but Yuki lives in the mountains of Japan, a big island in Asia. Come on, let's go. Brr, it's cold here. Yuki, Yuki, Yuki. I can't see Yuki, do you know where she is? Hello, Jasmine. Ah, there you are, hello. It's so cold here, what are you doing? Taking a bath, come join me. But it'll be freezing. Oh no, you'll see. Okay. Whoa, it's so hot. Ah, oh, that's much better. But how come it's so cold outside and the water's so hot? Because we're near a volcano. It's like a mountain, but it's very hot on the inside. That's what heats the bath water. Ah, oh, that's so useful. Do you come here often to bathe? In summer, we live in the forests. But in winter, when it's too cold, I come up to the mountains with my family to warm up. Ah. Uh, oh, watch out, you got a flea on you. Mmm, yum. Oh, you're eating it? Yes, we monkeys eat everything. Fruits, insects, plants, anything. Let me check if you got any more. <laughs> that tickles. I love doing this with my family. It's to keep clean and have a snack. <laughs> ah, it's a bit too hot, actually. <laughs> you're all red. Well, you're also all red, you know. Yes, but that's because I'm a special monkey, a snow monkey. We have white hair and red skin. We're all like this. Maybe because you take too many baths. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going home. It's too hot now. It was lovely. Thanks, Yuki. Goodbye. My pleasure, Jasmine. Come back whenever. A letter. Oh, news from Yuki. Ah, oh, she's with her family. It's true, they really are all red. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go. friend Freebie the frog. <laughs> she says her home's a real mess and she wants me to come help her tidy up. You can find frogs all over the world, but Phoebe lived in a pond in Croatia, a beautiful country in Eastern Europe. Come on, let's go. Ah, I made it. Phoebe? 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 Oh, I wonder where Phoebe is. Can you see her? <laughs> hello, Jasmine. Oh, hello, Phoebe. What are you doing underwater? We frogs love to stay underwater for hours. Wait, let me get a little closer. Hop! Wow, you jump really well. <laughs> That's because we have super muscly thighs. Uh, uh, that's really useful. Maybe if, uh, if I tried hard, I could jump. <clears throat> oh! Sorry if I scared you, but that fly looked so delicious. You eat flies, Phoebe? Yep, and all sorts of insects and algae. We frogs catch all our food using our tongue, you see. Our saliva is sticky, it's really useful. I can see. Anyway, it's a real mess here. Yeah, my neighbors had a oh. picnic on the edge of the pond, but they didn't pick up their trash. Oh, that's disgusting. Don't worry, I'll help you clean it up. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Now my home's clean and tidy again. No problem, my pleasure. Everyone should pick up their trash and leave nothing on the floor when you leave. You have to keep nature clean. Totally, now I'm gonna be able to invite my girlfriends over. Your girlfriends? Yes, I have a lot of frog friends. We all have our own little thing. I've got my girlfriend, the bullfrog, the giant oh. frog, the grass frog, the tomato frog, and my girlfriend, the flying frog. <laughs> you must be joking, right? Not at all. I'll send you a photo the next time we get together. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see that. Goodbye, Phoebe. Goodbye, Jasmine. Thanks again for all your help. 
cool. A letter. Ah, uh, it's news from Phoebe. Okay then, let's see. <laughs> That's not at all what I had imagined. Hello, my friends. My name is Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! A letter! It's a postcard from my friend Olivia the koala. She's inviting me to visit Eastern Australia in Oceania, the only place on Earth where koalas live. Come on, let's go! Okay, Olivia, here I am. Olivia! Ah, oh, there you are. Hello, Jasmine. How are you? Uh, Olivia, I'm over here, the other side. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Jasmine. We koalas don't have very good eyesight. So that's why you live in the trees? Yes. Actually, I need to find a new tree so I have something to eat. I've already eaten all this tree's leaves. So you eat leaves? Yes. We koalas feed exclusively on eucalyptus leaves. But watch out. Don't you eat any because they're toxic. How can you eat them if they're toxic, though? Well, first of all, my keen sense of smell helps me find the least toxic leaves. They're no danger to me. Oh, I see. Well, let's go and find a new tree for you. Oh, this tree here is pretty. Yes, you're right. I'll go smell it to see if it's to my taste. Mm. I'm gonna try this one. Mm. Olivia? Olivia, you haven't fallen asleep on me, have you? Oh, I'm sorry, Jasmine. Eucalyptus leaves provide very little energy, so I need to sleep a lot. Oh, well, that's annoying. <laughs> This tree's not bad at all. <laughs> oh my, you've got pretty strange feet. They're super useful for climbing trees. They help me grip on easily. I wish I could climb trees like you. You're so lucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love this tree here. I'm staying here. Okay, Olivia, have a nice rest. Goodbye, Jasmine. Oh, a letter. <laughs> ah, it's news from Olivia. Oh, she seems so happy in her tree. <laughs> But she's gonna need to find a new one soon. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go. news from my friend Lucas the Hedgehog. He's asking me to come help him prepare for hi hibernation? I wonder what that is. Let's go ask him. Hedgehogs live all over the world. Lucas lives in a field at the edge of a forest in Poland, a country in Eastern Europe. Come on, let's go. Hey there, I'm here. Lucas? Lucas, Lucas. I wonder where Lucas could be. Can you see him? Here I am, Jasmine. Ah, hello, Lucas. What are you doing hidden there? I was resting in my home. I made it myself with leaves and little twigs like all hedgehogs do. Uh, in your letter, you mentioned hibernation. What does that mean? Like lots of animals, we hedgehogs get very cold in winter. So to keep warm, we spend all our time cozy and warm in a nest until the spring. For the whole winter? But once you get bored? No, because we spend all our time sleeping. Ah, I see. What do you have to do to prepare for hibernation? Oh, well, I need a nice cozy nest that's done already. And lots of food. <laughs> and what do you eat? Mm, a bit of everything. We hedgehogs really like insects, huh? earthworms, slugs, oh. but also fruits, berries, and mushrooms. Yuck, I really don't like slugs. <laughs> But on the other hand, I love berries and mushrooms. I can help you pick some and you can handle the earthworms. Let's go! We've got 
gathered so much food, Lucas. Enough to tide you through the whole winter. For sure. Actually, I'm going to start to eat now. Oh, careful, Lucas. Oh. It's going to fall. Uh, oh. Are you okay? Phew. When we're scared, we hedgehogs roll into a ball. Our spikes protect us from danger. So that's what's on your back? Yes, they're like big, strong hairs. Ouch. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, they're prickly. I've had a really fun day with you, Lucas. Thanks for your help, Jasmine. Sleep well this winter. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jasmine. Cool, a letter. Ouch. Oh, news from Lucas. Uh, well, it seems like he's already fast asleep. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Cool, a letter. It's news from my friend Odo the penguin. He's inviting me to his ice floe. He has something important to ask me. I wonder what it is. Penguins live only in the Southern Hemisphere, all the way at the bottom of the map. And Odo lives on an ice floe in Antarctica. Come on, let's go. I think I've arrived at last. Odo? Odo. Odo. I can't find Odo. Can you see him? Ah, there you are. Hello. Hello, Jasmine. It's so cold here. Really? We penguins have feathers that keep us nice and warm. Well, that's useful. But tell me, why are you walking strangely? Because I'm looking after my baby. Your baby? Where is he? I can't see him. Here, look here. Oh. We penguins lay eggs, and we have to keep them warm until they've grown enough to hatch from their egg. Whoa, it's moving. Yes, it's hatching soon. I have to quickly get him food. Uh, can you keep him warm for me? You trust me with your egg? Yes, we penguins often do babysitting. Put him between your legs and oh. make sure not to let him fall. Ooh. Oh, right. It's all up to me now. Carrots in the sky. Oh, finally you're back. <laughs> it's funny how you slide on your belly. Penguins slide on their bellies to cover long distances quickly. I see that you brought back some fish. Yes, we eat fish and anything that comes from the sea. Oh. Huh? Oh. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. <gasps> uh, uh, chew. It's time for me to go home. I'm starting to get you cold. Oh, yeah. Go warm yourself up now. Bye, Jasmine. Thanks for babysitting my egg. Goodbye, Otto. Cool. A letter. Uh, chew. Oh, news from Odo. They're lucky to have those feathers so they don't fall ill. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go. Oh, I've got a postcard. It's from Ming, my friend the panda. He wants me to help him build a cabin. Destination China and Asia. That's where pandas live in bamboo forests. Come on, let's go. Ming? 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 I can't see Ming. Can you see him? Oh, hey Ming, there you are. What? I don't understand. Sorry. Hello, Jasmine. Sorry, you're still eating? I'm always eating. See, we pandas spend all day eating and chewing bamboo. Oh, yeah. You must really love it. To be honest, not really. We pandas eat everything. But since we live surrounded by bamboo, it's just easier to eat that. No point tiring yourself out. Actually, could you hand me that one? But it's just there. You just have to lean a bit to reach oh. it. Mm. Okay, here. Thank you, Jasmine. Awesome. Your feet are weird, eh? They're not like mine at all. 
It's because I have thumbs. I'm one of the few animals to have them. It's very useful for grabbing bamboo. Oh, that's for sure. So, why do you need a cabin then? We pandas, we sleep in the trees. But I don't think it protects us from the rain enough. In a few days, it'll be raining a lot in China. It's called the monsoon season. Ah, I understand. I'll help you. Let's get to work right away. My new cabin. Thank you, Jasmine. Oh, here oh. comes that rain now. Quick, get some cover. I'm going home. Goodbye, Ming. Goodbye, Jasmine. Cool, a letter. <laughs> ah, the cabin held strong. What? But it's all chewed up. What a greedy guts. Hi friends, my name is Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Oh cool, a letter! It's from my friend Charlie the Fox. He's invited me to visit him in the forest where he lives. Foxes live in Europe and North America, but Charlie lives in the Western United States. Come on, let's go. Okay, Charlie, I'm here. Charlie? Charlie! I can't see Charlie. Can you see him? <laughs> Ouch! Ah, there you are. Hi, Jasmine. What are you doing? We foxes don't climb trees, but there's something up on this branch I'm trying to get you. Could you help me? Yes, of course. <laughs> Wait a second. What's it you're trying to get up there? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Don't you worry, I'm almost done. Uh, okay, that's it. We could go now. Whoa, your fur is really pretty. It looks so soft. Uh, thank you, Jasmine. It keeps me very warm, and when it's too cold in the winter, I shelter in my burrow. You can live in a burrow? Yes, it's my home. But, hey there, what are you hiding? <gasps> you stole some eggs? Hmm, it's just because we foxes really love eggs. Those eggs don't belong to you. No, but they've been abandoned. Uh... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you see, they weren't abandoned, Charlie. There must be other things you like to eat, though. Mm. Yes, we foxes adore berries and fish, too. Great, so let's go pick some berries, then. Hmm, I can't see any berries. Hmm, over there are tons of raspberries. Oh, yeah? How do you know? Well, we foxes have an excellent sense of smell and great eyesight, even in the dark. Wow, you're amazing. There are so many of them. <laughs> You're not eating them? Not right now. I'm gonna hide them for later. I store loads of food in hiding places, so I'm never short of food. It's a habit we foxes have. I see. I'm going home now. I ate really well. Okay. Goodbye, Jasmine. Goodbye, Charlie. Cool, a letter. Ouch. Ah, news from my friend Charlie. He stored so much food in his hiding place. I just hope it all belongs to him. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go. from my friend Tina the reindeer. She's inviting me over for a snowball fight. Great, I can't wait. Reindeer live in many northern countries, but Tina lives in Lapland. It's a region of northern Finland in Europe. Come on, let's go. Brr, it's cold here. Here I am, Tina. Tina? Tina. I wonder where Tina is. Can you see her? Oh, uh, but 
Hey! Drat, I missed! Hey! <laughs> Hiya, Tina! It's super cold here! Yes, it's winter almost all year round in Lapland, but we reindeer don't feel cold thanks to our very thick fur. Ah, <laughs> so I guess you don't mind getting some snow all over you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's hard to run in the snow. Why aren't you sinking like me? Oh! Whoa! It's thanks to my cloven hooves. Snow's no problem for reindeer. <laughs> uh, that's so useful. You see? I don't sink in. Whoa. Oh. Hey, how come you fell? Walking on ice, however, that's not my specialty. <laughs> but tell me, what's that on your head? They're my antlers. Antlers? Yes, it's a reindeer thing. They're like horns, but they're soft. Wanna touch? Oh, you're right, it's so soft. Oh, oh no, I broke your antler. <laughs> Don't worry, we shed them once a year. It's totally normal. Then it'll grow back? They will, Jasmine. Don't worry about it. Uh, All this playing worked up my appetite. You're right, me too. But actually, what do you eat? We reindeer eat mostly tree bark and leaves too. But my favorite is lichen. What's that? Lichen. It's a bit like a plant and a bit like a mushroom. It covers trees and rocks. Oh, I see. I'll leave it to you then. It was so much fun playing with you, Tina. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jasmine. See you soon. Cool, a letter. <laughs> It's news from Tina. <laughs> oh, she's lost both her antlers now. Lucky they grow back fast. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go. Paula, the turtles, they're asking me to come referee a race? <laughs> Let's go see. You can find turtles all over the world, but Maria and Paula live in Ecuador, a country in South America. Come on, let's go. I made it. Oh, it's so hot here. Maria, Paula, I wonder where they are. Can you see them? Hello, Jasmine. Oh, there you are, Paula. <laughs> but where's Maria? I'm here, Jasmine. Hello. Hello, Maria. We you weren't together? No, because I live in the sea. And me, I live on land. Ah, I understand. We want to know which one of us is the better turtle, and we need you to help us decide. We're going to have a race, and that'll decide it. Well, on your mark, <clears throat> get set. My, it's gonna take so long. Everyone knows I'm fastest with my feet. You're right, Paula moves really strangely with her feet. They aren't feet, they're flippers. I use them to swim really fast in the water. It's just that I'm not made to live on land. Being a land turtle is great for sunbathing, for example. <sighs> oh yeah? Yes, we turtles are reptiles. And we lay in the sun to warm up when we get cold. Or the sea to cool down when we're hot. You see? You have something in common, because you're both reptiles. <clears throat> <sighs> you have another thing in common. You both have a shell in your back. That's my carapace. All turtles have one. I can hide in it when I sense danger. Mine's also a carapace, but it's flat and helps me move even faster in the water. Ah, that's useful. Actually, what do you see turtles eat, Paula? Bit of everything. Fish, shellfish, plants. Oh, yeah? I love plants, too. But we land turtles prefer eating fruits. That sounds tasty. Can I try one? Yes, of course. I don't really want to race you anymore. Oh, uh, me neither. It's true we may be different, but neither's better than the other. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine? Jasmine! Huh? What? Oh, so who won the race? We, we both, both won, won in, in the, the end. end. Oh, that's great. I'll leave you now. That was a nice nap. Oh, uh, a nice day with you. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Jasmine. See you soon. A letter. It's news from Paula and Maria. Seems like they've become the best friends in the world now.
Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go. A letter! Ah, it's my friend Carlos the parrot. Oh, he says he has a problem he can't mention in his letter. Parrots live in hot countries, and Carlos lives in Brazil, South America, in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. Come on, let's go. Carlos, where are you? Carlos, where are you? Carlos? Carlos? Oh, I can hear Carlos, but I can't see him. Can you see him? Can you see him? Oh, come on, Carlos, show yourself. Hello, Jasmine. Hi, Carlos. Your home is really cool. Thank you. Up in the trees is the perfect place to sleep. Plus, you can find loads of berries and fruits to eat. You're really lucky. You're really lucky. Hey, why are you repeating everything that I say, Carlos? <laughs> I can't help it. We parrots are very talented mimics. Oh, yeah? Hmm, so you can imitate a real cow? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm the only bird that can imitate other animals. How are you? In your letter, you seem worried. Oh, well, actually, it's that no one likes how I dance. Why is that worrying you? Why is that worrying you? <gasps> oh, sorry. You see, dancing is how we parrots find a, a girlfriend. <gasps> I understand. I'm sure your dancing's very good. Go on, show me. Well, if you insist... But you dance so well. You're just shy. I'll dance along with you. I love dancing. Uh, Go on, Carlos. Open your wings wide. Woo! Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, no, she's going to laugh at me. No, keep going. Your dancing's improving. Can I dance with you? Yes, of course. Mm. Great, Carlos. You see, it's not so hard. You're dancing oh. so well now. OK, I'm going to go home. Whoa. Oh, thank you so much, Jasmine. Thanks to your help, I've become a great dancer. <laughs> Goodbye, Carlos. Goodbye, Carlos. Oh! Cool, a letter. <laughs> it's news from Carlos. Oh, and his girlfriend. Oh, they're so cute. He seems to be doing so much better. Maybe he'll even be giving dance classes soon? Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go. Cool, a letter. It's news from my cousin, Chica the dog. It's been so long, let's pay her a visit. We dogs live all over the world, but Chica lives in Mexico. It's a big country in Central America. Come on, let's go. Here I am, Chica. Chica. I can't see Chica. Can you see her? Mm, surprise! Oh. <laughs> Hiya, Chica. How are I'm you? I'm so great. I'm so happy to see you. Here, I brought <gasps> a Frisbee so we could play together. Oh, great. I really love Frisbee. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you also dig holes? <laughs> well, yeah, like all dogs. Then, thanks to our super sense of smell, we can easily find it again. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I also do it to save food for later. Oh, Jasmine, tell me, what's your favorite food? Hmm, well, you know, like all dogs, I eat everything. But my favorite of all is meat. Oh, yeah, it's super tasty. All dogs love it. And what's more, we can gnaw on the bones. Oh, yeah, but do you know why we do that? It's good for our teeth and gives us fresh breath. <laughs> oh! Oh, listen, did you hear that? Oh! My mom's calling me. Oh, yeah, I do that, too. It's how dogs call each other. Hey, let's call back together. Oh! <laughs> we sound like wolves. You're right. That's because all us dogs are descended from wolves. So that means our dad's 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 granddad was a wolf. That's why we have so much in common with wolves. <laughs> it's so cool to be a dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what's more, we dogs can have jobs. There are police dogs, rescue dogs, and apparently even astronaut dogs. Oh! Oh, my mom's calling. I have to go home. Okay, Chica, it was so fun playing with you today. Goodbye, Jasmine. Cool, 
Oh, a letter! Huh. It's news from Chica. With a bone like that, she's gonna have super fresh breath. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Cool! A letter! My friend Igor the Owl's written me, and he's inviting me for a surprise? Awesome! I wonder what it is. Quick, come on! You find owls all over the world, and Igor lives in Russia. It's the biggest country in the world. Come on, let's go! I'm here! Igor? Igor! Igor! I can't find Igor. Can you see him? Is that you, Jasmine? Ah, your head's backwards! Who, who, who? Oh, no, Jasmine. We owls can turn our heads all the way around. That way I can even see what's going on behind my back. Wow, that's really useful. So flexible. <laughs> okay, so what's my surprise? Hoo, hoo, hoo. I think you'll like it. I just have to finish digesting. Oh, yuck, what's that? It's a pellet. We owls swallow our food without chewing, so I have to spit all the little bones and hairs. Ah, I see. And what do you eat? Some small animals, fish, and snakes when I can find any. So, ready for your surprise? Oh, yes! We are animals. Wow! <laughs> awesome! But I'm not too heavy for you? No, don't worry. I'm an eagle owl, one of the biggest owls in the world. But I do sometimes drop my prey. Mm. Oh, yeah? No, I'm just joking. It never happens. Hold on tight. Woohoo! Great! I'd never flown like that before. Thank you, Igor. But say, your feet are quite strange. Those are talons. All owls have them. We use them to hunt. They are very powerful claws. Uh, Igor? Why are your eyes so big? I've just spotted what I'm having for dinner. I can see better with my big eyes, even at night. It's an owl thing. Oh, okay. I'll leave you then. Thanks again. It was really great. Goodbye, Igor. My pleasure, Jasmine. Goodbye. Oh, a letter. Ah, news from Igor. Oh, I see he found his dinner. Looks like a real feast. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Oh! A postcard from my friend Frank the Flamingo. He's invited me to an afternoon tea. I can't wait. Flamingos live all over the world, but Frank lives in Camargue in south of France. Come on, let's go. Ah, I'm finally here. There's a pond. That's where flamingos live. Hello, Frank. I'm here. Frank? 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 But where's Frank? Can you see him? Ah! Ah, oh, hello, Jasmine. You're here? Sorry, I was just sleeping. Sleeping on just one leg? Yes, it's because the water's a huh? bit cold, so I keep one foot warm. Hmm, it's not easy at all. How do you manage not to fall over? My webbed feet help me keep my balance, so I can stay standing on one foot for several hours. Deep, 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 deep. Oh, hello there. Jasmine, let me introduce Tom, my son. Uh, but he doesn't look like you. He's not all pink like you are. That's normal. Baby flamingos are gray because they haven't eaten enough shrimp and algae yet. That's what turns us pink. Awesome. Is that what we're having for tea? Oh, Beep. yeah. I hope that you're hungry. Food's up. <laughs> mm, what a treat. Aren't you going to join us, Jasmine? Uh, I'll have a taste, but just a little bite. Hmm. It's, uh, interesting. 
Oh, yes. Do you want some more? Uh, no, no, no. That was lovely. I have to go now, but I'll come see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jasmine. Keep, keep. Oh, another letter. Thank you. Wow, that works well. Tom's turned all pink. Ah, so I must have eaten too much shrimp. I've turned all pink too. I just hope it doesn't last too long. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Awesome! A letter! It's news for my friend Nara in the mall. She's inviting me to come play hide and seek. Great! I can't wait! You'll find moles all over the world. But Naran lives on the plains of Mongolia, a big country in Asia. Come on, let's go! Here I am. Naran? 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 I wonder where Naran is. Can you see her? Hello, Jasmine. Oh, hello, Naran. Uh, <laughs> I'm over here. You just need to turn around. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Jasmine, uh, I can't see a thing, but I knew you were here. How come you can't see a thing? We bulls have little tiny eyes, and we don't use them because we have other things to help us navigate. Oh, yeah? How do you manage not to bump into everything? Well, uh, I have whiskers. Whiskers? Whiskers on the side of my head that are very sensitive and help me get around. Lots of animals have them. I also have excellent hearing and a great sense of smell. Oh, I see. That's really useful. So, ready to play hide and seek? <laughs> yes. Let's go. Can you help me find Naran? So, can you see her? You think she's there? Or there? We almost found her. Found her. Well done. You're really good at hide and seek. But say, your feet are kind of weird. They're made for digging. All moles have feet like this because we live underground. Oh, yeah? Yes, I live in underground tunnels. They each have a purpose. There's a tunnel to get around, a tunnel to sleep in, and one where I keep my food. Ooh, but tell me, what do you eat? Anything we find underground. Insects, larvae, slugs, and earthworms. We moles are hungry all the time. I have to eat all day to stay healthy. <laughs> Greedy guts. I'll leave you and let you eat then. It was fun playing with you, Naran. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jasmine. See you soon. Ooh, a letter. <laughs> it's news from Naran. Oh, well, <laughs> she's facing the wrong way again. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Awesome! A letter! Hmm. Ah, it's news from my friend Ernest the pig. It's been so long. He's inviting me to come pick some mushrooms with him. Pigs live all over the world, but Ernest lives in a big forest in Europe. In Germany, to be specific. Come on, let's go. Ernest? Ernest! That's weird. I wonder where Ernest could be. Can you see him now? Hey there. Oh, there you are. What are you doing in the bushes? Hello, Jasmine. I'm collecting acorns. Acorns? Is that what you eat? Yes, I love them. We pigs eat loads of acorns, but we also eat chestnuts, roots, worms. Oh, yeah. So you eat a bit of everything? Oh, yes. But my absolute favorite are mushrooms. You want to help me pick some? Oh, yeah. That would be really fun. That's great. I think there are some over there. Wow, there's so many of them. They're funny looking. Watch out, Jasmine, because not all mushrooms are safe for eating. Ernest, can I eat this one? <laughs> yes, it's a penny bun. It's tasty. <laughs> You've got a funny nose. It's a snout. All pigs have one. Thanks to it, we can find the best mushrooms. It's highly developed. Oh, yeah. And this mushroom here, what is it? Those are oyster mushrooms. And this? Watch out, Jasmine. That one's a toadstool. Don't touch it because they're very poisonous mushrooms. You know every types of mushroom? 
How do you manage to remember them all? We pigs have a very good memory. And that's why you should always pick mushrooms with someone who knows about them. Okay, come. We've seen all the mushrooms here. What a lovely day. It's so sunny out today. You have to make sure to protect your skin. Yuck, what are you doing? We pigs have very sensitive skin, so we roll in the mud to protect ourselves from the sun and from the insects. Oh, yeah. So mud can be useful then? Oh. Hmm. But how come you're not sinking into the mud? It's thanks to my trotters. That's how pigs avoid sinking in the mud. Anyway, we love rolling around in it. Wow. <laughs> It really is refreshing. Okay, well, I'm going home. I've had a lovely afternoon picking mushrooms with you. Goodbye, Ernest. Goodbye, Jasmine. See you soon. Oh, cool, a letter. Ouch, news from Ernest. Oh, my. He's going to have such perfect skin thanks to all that mud. My friends, my name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! It's a postcard. It's my friend Pablo the crab. He's inviting me down to the beach with him. Off to Cuba, an island in the Caribbean, the largest of the Antilles. Let's go. Pablo? 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 But where is Pablo? Can you see him? He definitely told me to meet him right here. Surprise! Ah, there you are. I was looking for you. I was hiding while I waited for you. What are you doing on the beach? Are you relaxing? Ah, no. I just need that coconut up there. I'll go get it. Really? It's a bit high up for you, though. It's no problem. <gasps> I'm a coconut crab. We're really talented tree climbers. Ooh, <laughs> your claws are really good at cutting. Thanks, Jasmine. We coconut crabs have the strongest claws of any crab. They're also super tough. We use them to dig in the sand for defense or to eat. <laughs> you walk kind of funny. Yeah, like all crabs, I can only walk sideways. Like this? Yeah, you do it really well. But are you going to eat that whole coconut yourself? Oh no, I've been invited to my cousins for dinner. I'm bringing dessert. Your cousins? Yeah, we're a big family. There are crabs on beaches all around the world. In Oceania, in America, in Russia, and everywhere else. Oh. We come in all kinds of shapes and colors. Ah, that's awesome. I'll send you a picture when I'm with them. OK, have fun with your cousins then. Thank you. See you soon, Jasmine. Bye, Pablo. Cool, a letter. Uh, it's a postcard from Pablo. Wow, so many of them. He should have taken more coconuts. Hello, my friends. My name's Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! a letter. It's news from my friend Uka the meerkat. He's inviting me to visit his burrow. Great, I can't wait. Meerkats live in the deserts of southwestern Africa. Uka lives in South Africa, right at the bottom. Come on, let's go. Here I am. Oh, it's so hot. Uka? Uka? Ah, hello. But, Uka? Uka? But where are you? Playing hide and seek? Is that you, Jasmine? There you are. Well, yeah, it's me. Hello, Jasmine. Before coming out of my burrow, I wanted to make sure you weren't a nasty predator. We meerkats are very cautious. I can see. So how are you? Watch out, Jasmine. <laughs> Don't move an inch. There's a scorpion just uh, there. Uh, a scorpion? Yes, right there. Uh, uh, it's a bit like a spider, and it's very dangerous. But how did you know it was there, Uka? 
We mere cats have highly developed senses, and we can detect dangers even under the sand. Uh, and you eat scorpions? We do, but don't you try it. It's just a mere cat thing. Mmm, and what else do you eat? Oh, insects, some small snakes, eggs, but also roots and plants. Oh my, scorpions and snakes? The desert's dangerous. Don't worry, come into my burrow. It's the safest place around. Follow me. Wow, it is so big on the inside. Yes, because it's my home. This is the entrance, but there are lots of rooms and tunnels. So it's a big house. Up top is where we keep watch. At the bottom's where we sleep, and there's also a pantry. Ah, uh, it's so great. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, Yuka. Okay, goodbye, guys. Who was that? Some meerkats in my family. A lot of us live here, and we're very organized. Oh, yeah? We each have a job. Some look after children, and some gather food. My job is to look out for danger so that everyone stays safe. That's great. Will I get to meet them? No, they're all out today, but I'll send you a photo. I can't wait to see. I'm going home now. Goodbye, Yuka. Goodbye, Jasmine, and stay safe, okay? I will. Oh, I got a letter. Ah, uh, news from Uka. My, oh my. <laughs> what a big family. Hello, my friends. My name is Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Huh? Cool, a letter. Oh, it's news from my friend Jessie the snail. She says she has something special to ask me. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Let's go see. You'll find snails all over the world, but Jesse lives in the United Kingdom, in Europe, right here. Come on, let's go. Here I am, Jesse. Jesse? Jesse. I wonder where Jesse is. Can you see her? Here I am, Jasmine. Oh, wait, did you hear that? Here I am, Jasmine. Is that you, Jesse? Here I am, on the leaf. Oh, there you are. Hello, Jesse. Hello, Jasmine. So you said that you had something to ask me? Well, actually, we snails are very slow. Oh, yeah? Yes, because we're mollusks, animals with a soft body. But I'd love to know what it's like to move fast. Could you carry me as you walk around? Of course, my pleasure, Jesse. Climb on my paw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> Hey, it's sticky. <laughs> yes, sorry, that's my slime. I use it to slide along and move, like all snails. Oh, I see. So are you ready? Yes! We are wow, moving fast is great. I can go even faster if you like. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. So did you like it? Yes, thank you, Jasmine. It was incredible. But tell me, what's that on your back? It's my shell. It's my home that I sleep in. Oh, yeah? How's that work? I can pull myself inside. Look. <whistles> All snails live like this. Wow, so useful. Hey, that's weird. All the leaves have holes. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, it's because I nibble them. You eat leaves? Yes, we snails love them. And fruit, too. Oh, I see. It's time for me to go home now. Thanks again, Jasmine. It was great. Come back when you like. Goodbye, Jesse. Cool, a letter. <laughs> it's news from Jesse. Well, seems like she's not short of food at least. Hello, my friends. My name is Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Cool! A letter! It's
It's news from my friend Kelly the Blue Whale. She says she has a problem and needs my help. Blue whales live in all the world's oceans. Right now, Kelly's off to the eastern coast of Canada and North America. Come on, let's go. Kelly, I'm here. Kelly, Kelly. I wonder where she could be. Hey, can you see her? Hello, Gatman. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. But hey, why are you talking like that? I've got something stuck in my mouth. I can't get it out with my fins. Could you help me get it out, please? Yes, just don't move and give me a nice big smile. Uh, uh. Huh. There you go. It was just a fish. Oh, thank you so much, Jasmine. Say, your teeth are a little weird. They're not teeth. It's called baleen. I use it to filter out krill from the water. The krill? Yes, they're tiny little shrimp, my main source of food. We whales eat three tons of them a day. Three tons? How do you manage to eat so much? Just look. The krill travel in big groups. It's easy for me to catch them in my big mouth. And then my baleen stops the krill from getting back out when I spit out all the water I swallowed. Oh, wow. Your baleen is super useful. Yes! <laughs> Oh, you've got water spotting from your head. <laughs> That's my nose. We call it a blowhole, and it's what I breathe through. I've never seen a nose like it before. I'm not the only one. All marine mammals have a blowhole like mine. It allows us to breathe when we return to the surface. Hey, I can hear something in the distance, oh? a bit like someone singing. Can you hear it? Oh, those are my friends calling me. We whales communicate through song. I'm coming, girls. I have to go. They're waiting. Goodbye, Kelly. Have fun with your girlfriends. Well, goodbye, Jasmine. Uh. I got some news from Kelly. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Seems like she's going to need a ballon brush. My friends, my name is Jasmine. I love traveling around the world to meet all of my animal friends. Will you come with me? Let's go! Cool, a letter. Oh, it's news from my friend Olga the bat. Oh no, she's asked me to visit because she has a big problem. Quick, let's go help. Bats live all over the world, but Olga lives in Romania, a country in Eastern Europe. Come on, let's go. Here I am, Olga. Olga. I can't see Olga. Can you see her? Uh, here I am, Jasmine. Oh, there you are. Hello, Olga. What are you doing behind that tree? Hiding while I waited for you. I don't like being on the ground. Why not? Well, we bats, we usually live hanging in the trees or in the caves. It's easier to fly off that way. But I slid and I fell to the ground. I can't get back up. Can you help me? Of course, Olga. Don't you worry. I'll lift you up. Is that good? Oh, yes, it's perfect. Thank you so much, Jasmine. <laughs> But why are you hanging upside down? Because that's how bats sleep. But why do you want to sleep now? It's daytime. We're nocturnal animals. That means that we live at night, but we sleep in the day. But how can you see in the dark when it's nighttime? I can't see in the dark, but I can get around at night using my ears by emitting ultrasound. What's that? Ultrasound. <laughs> I let out a cry and listen if it bounces back off an object or prey. But you won't be able to hear it because you need bat ears for that. Oh, yeah. You've got funny ears. Sounds really useful, though. I can even hear the beating of a butterfly swing. Oh, yeah? Butterflies are so pretty. And tasty, too. You eat butterflies? Yes, and mosquitoes and flies, too. Bats really love them. Ah, oh, sorry, Jasmine. I love to keep talking with you, but I need a good sleep before the night. No worries, Olga. Sleep well, okay? Goodbye. Good night, Jasmine. Thank you so much for helping me. Cool, a letter. It's news from Olga. It's true, she seems to manage really well in the dark. 